At Super Dollar City Amusement Park, the gates reopen, even as one of its main attractions sits closed and under inspection following an accident that hurt more than 20 people. We are taking this extremely seriously. Park officials closed the Lost River of the Ozarks amusement ride yesterday after a 25-foot section of walkway leading to the attraction collapsed. Two people are still in the hospital. One woman went into surgery this morning to treat injuries to her legs. Park officials say the accident happened inside this enclosed, darkened cave behind me. The walkway started to slide like this, dropping all 21 people into the water below. Park employees say it's too early to tell why the walkway collapsed and insist Silver Dollar City keeps a spotless safety record. We're always doing safety inspections. It's an ongoing situation. The accident that occurred here does not kick in the state statute for an amusement ride accident. Still, the park is inspecting itself. It called in an outside engineer to investigate the problem and find out why previous inspections failed to turn up warning signs. A park spokeswoman says Silver Dollar City put the walkway through an intense inspection last March and does visual inspections every day. Even so, today, Silver Dollar City does plan to re-inspect all of its other walkways. What we will be doing, though, is ensuring, once again, go back through every inch of every walkway and every bridgeway, and that's already started.